We are back live at Water Safe Swim School, Long Beach. The address is 2220 Clark Avenue. Uh, if you've been with us all week, thank you very much. I've loved the questions. We've had a great week so far. And we're going to keep going through today and Thursday and Friday. And uh, if this is your first time here, the reason we're here is we, we usually update the construction on Long Beach uh, every Friday. And you can see that on our YouTube or on our social media. But this week, we wanted to give you some live updates and give you a real-time look at what's going on here, which we'll do a little bit later. But we've also invited special guests to Long Beach, uh, something you, didn't, you haven't been able to see in the past. So we do have a special guest today. We actually have our owner and our founder, Jenny Ferguson, here. And uh, if you have questions, uh, especially questions for Jenny, please post them, post them in the comments, and I will ask them as I see them. Um, but otherwise, uh, Jenny's going to tell us a little bit about the history of WaterSafe. And let me see if I can find her. Oh, there she Hi is. Hi, everybody. I had already been teaching some lessons, but I began lessons in Long Beach in the early 70s. And then in about 1988, in about 1987, on the very day that my second child was born, I found out about the pool being available in Seal Beach that we could use at the swim school. And on that same day that she was born, I entered into an escrow to buy that school, but it took us a year to get the conditional use permit to use it as a swim school and to rent the church parking lot across the street, St. Anne's. We started lessons in 1988, and then in 2015, found this location in Los Alamitos to open an even bigger location, built the school there. That took a year, just like this one is apparently taking a year. And now the church wants to use their parking lot to expand their own operations and we have lost the permit to use it as a swim school in Seal Beach. Therefore, we had to find this location in a very convenient part of a Long Beach suburban neighborhood, very close to the 405 freeway. So our friends that live in South Bay and LA County up there are going to find it simple and quick to get off the freeway and come to this pool yet it's still close enough for our Seal Beach and Huntington Beach and other clients to come here as well. We're so excited about it. When I started Seal Beach it was an outdoor pool, had a simple wooden fence and no patio cover on the patio. We had to build that into an indoor pool we put a lot of time, money, and love into making that a facility perfect for our clients. We had a uh, front yard space next door to the swim school for parents to park their strollers and let the kids eat their popsicles while they go down the slide. We plan to do the same thing here. We want to make it as homey as Seal Beach feels and yet a better pool to offer better programming and more official type swim lessons where we have a space for the babies and a space for the stroke school students. Fantastic. And you started in Long Beach before any of us were here, right? Yeah. We have people who have learned to swim from us and now teach for us. Uh, we have grandchildren and great grandchildren who learned to swim in the any of the Long Beach locations that I've taught at and in Seal Beach, and they are now bringing their own children to these lessons. Yeah. And so WaterSafe's been in existence for how long? WaterSafe Swim School was uh, founded in 1977 officially. I taught lessons at least 10 years before that. I uh, started Seal Beach with just 10 employees and now we have 110 and are always interviewing because we hire the character and train the skill and never want to turn any good candidate away so if you want a job please get in touch with us there we go 
And so we teach using the smart fish method, but we're not the only ones that use the smart fish method, right? Well, thank you for bringing that up. Yes, I started the smart fish method after I worked for Greta Anderson in Los Alamitos. She taught me how to teach babies to turn over and backflip. So if they ever fell in the pool, they would have an instant chance of breath recovery the minute they fell in any body of water. We've had many, many students able to do this, whether they fall off a boat, the dock, uh, wade out too far at Mother's Beach in Long Beach, uh, at the river, or in their own backyard pool. Many babies have been found back floating. Those children wouldn't have made it if there was no parent around to watch them. We expanded that method of teaching babies to turn over and back float so that they could build upon that fundamental to learn to swim, roll to their back to breathe, roll over to swim. You add big arms to that, you've got freestyle, then you teach them further to do the backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly. We have students who've gone on to join swim teams, high school programs, junior guards, they do water polo. In fact, five of our students have moved on to play water polo for the U.S. Olympic team. Has nothing to do with how we taught them to swim, perhaps, but we try very hard to get all of our students to fall in love with the sport of swimming because it takes you in so many directions. There are so many other sports that are built on your ability to swim well. Mm -hmm. And so you, even, even though Water Safe was started so long ago, you are still in the water teaching quite I'm a bit. I am still in the water teaching because I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> There's got to be better ways to learn so that it's easier, faster, more fun. I want to find the most gentle way for a child to learn to swim that be, gets them to that goal of water safety as soon as possible. We have many other swim schools that have found our method to be quite interesting and they come out and visit me. Uh, they enroll in our online training program. It's quite international. We have swim schools in Mexico and Germany, Hong Kong, Costa Rica, France, mm -hmm. England, we've had quite a few swim schools all over the world that have actually flown out here to train with us or just gone online to take our international training method. Our Mexico affiliate actually translated our method into Spanish. It's been very fun to share all these ideas with those swim schools and learn from them as well. I learned so much from our staff there's no way that I could have come this far without the help of our teachers and my management staff and even the parents. We learn so much from each other. It's such a community. Well, in, in all of these schools that have, that have uh, sought you out to, to want to teach the same way we do here at WaterSafe, um, that's quite an honor, and I'm going to embarrass you for a second. I know you don't want me to, but there is another honor that you recently received uh, just a few weeks ago. You were inducted into the United States Swim School Association Hall of Fame. Oh, that surprised me. And now again, <laughs> you surprised me. I wish I had known that was coming. It was the best moment of my life to realize that these wonderful people that I admire so much actually nominated me to be part of that group of people. I wish I could have stood up there and thanked every person that has influenced me in my life to take me in this direction. I'm the one of the lucky ones that was able to take what I love to do so much and make a career out of it. I am still teaching and plan to do that even when I can't walk. I'm still going to come to the pool and get in and help the newborns. I can't wait to be in this water to share my love of swimming with a brand new location that we have built indoors. We've never had an indoor, indoor swim school like this before. This experience is going to help us open up new locations. We hope to move on to several other cities in this area. Yeah, there we go. And um, yeah, providing lessons, there's a, uh, it's funny you say that you're gonna 
uh, keep teaching even when you can't walk. But you're, I think you're far away from that because uh, in uh, coming up in a few months, uh, there's something else that's happening. We are... Um, we raise money for Hope Floats, and if people don't know what Hope Floats is, it's a scholarship fund for those that can't quite uh, afford swim lessons. And you're going to be doing something in conjunction mm. with other efforts of the swim school to help raise money for these the, the scholarships for these kids, right? So Nathan, now that you've put this on social media, I guess I've <laughs> committed myself to it for sure. <laughs> yes, I'm going to run a marathon in March. I'm going to first time ever to run the. LA Marathon Woo. and I'm going to do it for Hope Floats to raise money for a scholarship foundation to help every family have the funds to attend our school. I'd rather swim 26 miles than run 26 miles, <laughs> but I think there is this incredible feeling of accomplishment of doing something I've never done before that's going to give me the same pleasure that I have every single time I teach a brand new student who has never fully learned to swim and I have to individually and personalize that set of lessons so that they are able to enjoy the sport. You do not teach every single child exactly the same. They all have their characteristics and nuances. You can use the method that we've developed called the Smart Fish Method, but you need to personalize it to each student. So anyway, I am excited about doing something that's difficult, challenging, that I've never done before. And the whole time I'm running that race, I'm going to be thinking about what it takes to get a child to the point where they have that same sense of accomplishment that I always have whenever I finish any of my marathons. It's fantastic. I love it. Thank well, you. Well, that's it's certainly inspirational. And uh, you have a lot of people that are inspired, either that have, are teaching the method or that know you or are currently working for you. So, um, is there anything else as we as we kind of finish it up today, finish our live session today, anything else you want to say about Long Beach or anybody else? I want to encourage people to come visit us as soon as we open. You're welcome to drive by and see where we're located. It's very, very central. It, there, it's in a corner of four different streets. There are five schools that surround this swim school. I would like very much for you to Consider starting your children in swim lessons as soon as they're born. We don't charge for lessons until they're at least four months old. We want everybody to get to know our facility and our teachers before they commit to a, a lifelong series of lessons. You don't just take swim lessons till you learn to swim. Hopefully you go on beyond the learn to swim level and do stroke school and join swim teams or swim programs that will further enhance your skills so that you're that much more water safe in the ocean, rivers, lakes, able to do all the sports that involve the basic skills of knowing how to swim. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. That was, uh, that was Jenny Ferguson, our owner and founder, giving us some real in-depth, as I, as I had told you, she has a wealth of knowledge on this subject and about the swim school, of course. So um, I'm going to walk you around. Uh, we just appreciate that so much, and you can see why we work here. But I'm going to walk around right now and give you just a quick little view on the construction updates for today. And then don't forget, tomorrow and Friday will be live as well. Tomorrow, our IT manager will be showing you some of the technology that we're implementing here. And then Friday, we'll have Jenny again. We'll do a little bit of our front yard reveal, and we actually have a picture of what it's going to look like, so that's even more exciting. We don't have to just talk about it. But let me show you a little bit about what's going on here today, just a minute or two. Um, we have HVAC here today, and they're finishing up our, our HVAC system. And this one is so important for us because we really want to control the humidity in this room, and we got a great team working on that. We got electrical coming in, and we actually just found out today that uh, we have some doors coming in and some of our other supplies. We are, you're going to see tile very soon, and the reason that's so exciting is because we're doing something interesting with the tile in certain areas that we can't wait for you to see. 
But uh, I think that's about it for today. You can kind of see things look a little bit each day. We just get a little bit further here in Long Beach and we are excited to continue on. Join us tomorrow at noon and bring your questions and we'll be ready to answer them. Until then, we'll see you next time.